How long, Ms. Fusick, have you and the defendant been neighbors? Probably six or seven years. Is that right, sir? No, like 13 years. That you've been neighbors? Yes. So, Mr. Milner, I'm going to start with you. Okay. You had to have your house fumigated. Yes. And when you had your house fumigated, the company that you hired tented your house. Yes. But the company that you hired did something that was somehow negligent. And as a result of that, two things happened. A fence was damaged that separated your property. And when this tent flapped on the fence, the fence hit her car and her car was damaged. Mm -hmm. Miss Fusick had insurance and her car insurance paid to fix your car with the exception of a $500 deductible. That's correct, Your Honor. And that's what she is suing for. That's correct, Your Honor. That's what the case is about. The ball is in your court. You explain to me why you think that you're not responsible to pay her $500 deductible. Well, to start off is that they unscrewed a lot of stuff from the fence to make it fall over. They told me this themselves. They put the fence back up. I believe they told me they gave her a business card. And instead of calling me and telling me they, they couldn't do that, they went well, ahead you, and unscrewed these pieces. You hired this company. Yes, I did. And the company that you hired. Yes was on your property yes doing work for you when the damage occurred to her car yes i wasn't there now, at the time but I, well that doesn't make any yeah, difference whether you were there at the time or not the fact that could you have gone through your homeowner's insurance to pay for the damage to her car um Perhaps. Did she discuss that with you, whether or not you would like to go through your homeowner's insurance to pay for the damage? Did she discuss that with you? It's been a year since this has happened. Um, most likely, yes, she did um, discuss this. And also the termite company has insurance to do this as well. I figured that between my insurance and the fumigating company would take care of this. And six, seven months went by and she contacted me again and said they were not paying her. Uh -huh. So I called my insurance and told them, asked them what was going on and uh, their get back to me kind of deal. And then I called the fumigation company, they well, get back to, to me kind of deal. And then, and then it still didn't get worked out. I, I assume that my insurance or the fumigation company's insurance would pay for this.